Hi guys, in today's video, we're gonna learn how to turn this photo into this photo by using Photo Editor Pro on the Galaxy Note 8, S8, or S8 Plus. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, um, this tutorial is for the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and Note 8, um, obviously because they come with a native photo editor called Photo Editor Pro. All right, um, it's an awesome little editor. Uh, it's not a third party, it works really well. Let me go ahead and show you a couple more examples how you can change your photos for the better. For example, uh, I took this near sunset and you can see everything dark down here. Uh, I was able to use the photo editor to bring back uh, the darks in the shadows and also add some more green. All right, before I begin, also you do not want to overexpose your photos. For example, here's a photo that I overexposed the sky. I lost all of the details. Even if I try to get it back with Photo Editor Pro, it's not going to bring back those blown out highlights. For those of you noobs, Blown out highlights are basically the brights, and if it blows up, means you lost all the detail. Now, I also took one underexposed, so basically what I did is I would focus, and I would actually bring the exposure down until I could capture the whole sky. Now, when I edit this photo, um, I can still bring out some of the shadows down here, but keep the highlights. All right, to give you that nice photo. And with Photo Editor Pro, I was able to do exactly that, brought up the shadows, uh, was able to keep the highlights in the sky. However, with this photo, no matter what I do, I'm not gonna be able to make this photo better other than adding some colors to the bottom of the photo. So let me show you how to take a photo correctly, all right, whether you're in uh, Pro or Auto. For example, imagine my desk right now is um, basically the ocean sea. And let's say there's a ton of sunlight and it's reflecting off it. It's gonna overexpose my shot like that, I'm gonna lose all the details. So instead of that, I'm gonna actually bring down the exposure as much as possible so I can capture all the details of the desk, even the little dust down there, right? And by taking it this way, right, you'll be able to fix it later with Photo Editor Pro. But if you take it in regular mode, and let's say this is still the overexposed seawater, then I'm not gonna be able to bring the details back, whereas this has the details. Um, so another good way to do it is take your photo in multiple exposures, maybe one in auto, and one the way your eyes see it, all right? Because your eyes never lie, they're probably more accurate. All right, so just remember to never overexpose your photos because you cannot get the highlights back. There are times when you do want to overexpose on purpose. For example, you're shooting into the sun. Maybe your subject's head is between the sun and the shadows. That's where you may want to actually blow out the highlights, but bring the subject in focus. All right, let's actually go ahead and try the first photo I took here. And what you're gonna do is go into menu button and go into Open in Photo Editor Pro. All right, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff you can do. A uh, first thing I advise to do uh, is to go to Advanced, right? And the first dial, if you click on it, it'll be Shadows. So in a photo like this, um, we may wanna bring out the shadows. Bring it as much as possible without bringing extra noise. All right, I would say about, yeah, I'm just gonna bring it about 75. Next, go to Highlights at the other end. And I usually bring this highlights down because it's always uh, overexposed highlights that's giving you problems. So this will give you a little bit more detail back into the photo. So I'm gonna go about negative 60. Now every photo will be different. So just look at the photo and sort of try to figure out good middle ground. Um, once you have the shadows and highlights set, the only thing you can set now is darks or lights. Basically darks, um, all the dark colors, is it gonna get darker? or is it gonna get brighter? In a scene like this, since it's a dark street, you may actually wanna bring down the darks like this to make it look like you know it was very late in the day if you wanted to. All right, but for this purposes, I'm actually just gonna actually blow it out as much as possible. I wanna actually make it bright and add some colors. So it also depends on what kind of final photo you want. So I want something bright with a lot of colors. So I'm gonna bring the darks a little bit out. Actually bring the whites out a little bit. Um, usually you will want to bring actually the darks down, right, to add some contrast. So bring the lights up and bring the darks down a little bit. All right, there's an also option for black backlight. 
I don't really mess with too much, but on some photos taken in low light, this may help you get a clear uh, photo and also brings out the shadows a little bit. So I'm gonna just add a tad there, about 30. And there's also other things you can mess with. You can go ahead and change the size. I'll flip it, all of this. Now I wanna bring out some of the yellows, um, some of these colors. Go to advanced, go to color, and go ahead and choose, uh, let's choose orange here. Bring up saturation all the way to see what it does. So I don't want it that much, I just want a little bit of pop for the orange and also for the yellow, about the same. And also I wanna actually pop the rose on the top here. So what you could do is use this drop mark and pinpoint out exactly the color you want. Now, if you look at the circle on the top right, you'll see the outer area um, changing into the color that you're pointing at. There you go, it's sort of a pinkish color. I'm gonna bring this up, and you can see the rose just becoming redder and redder. So I wanna get it a little bit popped right there. Uh, maybe I wanna make the uh, blue pop a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good right there. Now, you could also add saturation just overall saturation it's going to just increase colors you go to tone and saturation but i would avoid this method because it does give you more noise in the final uh, photo better way to do it is actually pick the individual colors and this feature is actually really awesome because you can really pinpoint out the colors you want to make it pop and take care of it and right, when that's all done go ahead and hit save this will save a copy of the edited photo and check out before and after all right, we'll go also take a close look there and look at how much more vibrant without losing any details. Um, also, don't go overboard. Always try tweaking a little bit because if you tweak too much, your photos probably will have more noise, but that looks really good. That's an example of a low light shot. Uh, we made it a little bit brighter with slightly more colors. Now, it seems like a lot of work, but once you get used to it, all those bad photos that you took, you could possibly fix uh, with this app. All right, let's go ahead and try the in and out sign at night. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the shadows up a little bit, not too much, because in the dark, if you bring out the shadows too much, uh, it will also bring back the noise. I'm gonna go about halfway, about 52. I'm gonna do the highlights again, and I'm gonna actually bring the highlights all the way down. Darks and lights, I'm gonna actually darken a little bit, and I'm gonna bring the lights out a little bit there. Okay, you could also move these dials to get the perfect graph you want. Okay, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Okay, that looks okay for now. As far as backlight, just add a little bit, maybe 27. Um, here's the important part where you can get some nice colors back. Go into color, go into red, and we're gonna go ahead and increase the saturation all the way, okay, until the sign is pure red like it should be. It's a little washed out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up just a tiny bit there. Also go to yellow, bring it up just a tiny bit. Also orange, tiny bit there. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more red since it is a red sign and the shadow should be slightly red. I'm gonna actually saturate it so the shadows sort of turn reddish. All right, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Set, hit save, and here's before. And here's after. Before, you see slightly washed out. And after, it looks a lot better. I may have tweaked a little too much. You can see a little bit of noise showing up there. So just be careful when you're editing. Just don't overdo things too much. Okay, I'll give you one more example before I go. Uh, here's a photo of my dog. This is uh, took in complete auto mode. You can see the photo's pretty nice, except that uh, my dog Bowie's face on the left is very dark. Hard to see anything that's going on here. I wanna actually make Bowie pop since she's the subject. Open in Photo Editor Pro. All right, in this photo, we're gonna go ahead and go to Advanced, um, go to the shadows, bring it up all the way. Since this photo was taken in daylight, um, it's pretty good quality. You can bring back the shadows without bringing the noise back, which is really nice. Next, go ahead and go into highlights. We don't really need all these highlights. I'm gonna bring it down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play with the bar over here, trying to get the best position to bring the shadows up. So I'm gonna actually bring up a lot here. And since we don't really have highlights to worry about, I'm gonna bring this bar to the left so we can bring more of the lows up. So that looks pretty good as far as just, you know, brighter image, brighter subject. 
Now we want to make the color pop, so go to color and go ahead and choose the drop button. And we're gonna go ahead and um, select Bowie's clothing and bring it little bits, pop out a little bit there. And also we're gonna go to her uh, body harness and also bring it up just a tad. All right, um, if you wanna add effects, you could do it after you do all of this. You could add different effects, right? Um, but I don't really like using the effects. They really degrade um, your photo rather than using the manual method. So this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and save, right? Before and after. Which one do you like more? All right, here's another fun trick you can do. Let me go ahead and edit the original one here. And once you get used to editing your photos, you'll get faster and better and all the time. Okay. I sort of edited it like before. This time we're gonna go into tone and we're gonna do a spot color. This will allow you to only color the spots you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Bowie's clothing here. You choose more spots to make sure it's covering the whole thing. And you can see only the greens are popping here. All right, when you're done, go ahead and hit the check button. Go back to advanced color and we're gonna actually go ahead and bring this color out also again. I'm gonna actually do a drastic one just for the hell of it. And for the yellow, I'm gonna just bring it out as much as possible. All right, you could also mess with the backlight here. All right, so here's the original. Here's the edited version. And here is the one spot color. I actually really dig this feature because with the S Pen, you can literally pinpoint which color you want. And also you can choose different colors. So this is a really awesome editor. Um, so definitely check out if you have a S8, S8 Plus or Note 8. Um, also other phones have different native photo editors that are very similar. Uh, for example, the Pixel 2 XL. I will also have a dedicated guide for the Pixel 2 XL if you guys want it. Do let me know in the comments box below. Yeah, if you guys have some time, go ahead and find all of your bad photos with overexposed highlights or very, very dark and try to see if you can bring the photo back to life. If you are successful, definitely send me an email at zetomax at gmail.com with your before and after. And I'll pick a few people to feature in my next photo video. Have a great day. And as always, stay. <laughs> Click here to subscribe.